Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I moved the storage area. It was over there by the mall. It was getting full, and it was far away from the train tracks and the, the garbage train, the garbage car. I just thought it would be over here, would, would be a little bit better spot for it. Um, we may move it again, because if we want to expand stations or anything, we'll need to move it. But for right now, I think it's fine. Um, I finished making the area. We need some more uh, radar, but I set this spot down here to uh, be mined as well as this one up here. We now have 1,500 robots in the system right there. I don't know that it's going to be enough. Uh, right now, all our chests are full, but they filled up rather slowly. So probably need some more bots, but uh, for right now, it's working fine. I also... I also ran these uh, defenses, these little de defensive line up and down the tracks. Uh, I don't know, just felt like the right thing to do. And uh, let's see, these stations are, I, I never I never named them correctly. Um, can I rename those from here? I can, excellent. Let's do that. Let's see, you are going to be smelt, you're gonna be copper or tentatively. Two. And uh, you are going to be copper or one. We can even copy and paste. This is this is excellent. All right, and you are smelt iron plates. You are going to be smelt copper plates. All right, and that will go right there. Excellent. So yeah, I want uh, I want the tr stations to be named the same where they're picking up plates. I don't care which one they go to to pick up from, but I want the copper to be na or the ore one to be named differently so we can guarantee which station that ore train is going to. And that way, you don't get the situation where a train is leaving at the time where a train is arriving and they go to the same they go to the same one. We want it to to be spread evenly. And um, I think all that is pretty much done, right? Yeah, we just need beacons and uh, the modules, and uh, that will be set. Uh, I want to look at this station now that I know I can rename from space. Okay, apparently we can name from space, but uh, mm, can't copy and paste. Uh, let's see, we want this to be mine, copper, just one, right? Mine copper one. Mine iron one. Mine copper one. And can we paste like here? No. I have to type it in manually. Okay, that's fine. All right. Excellent. We don't have any other funky stations, do we? Nope. They all look pretty good. Smelt building. That's fine. All right. So. What do we want to do this episode? I know what we want to do this episode. We want to go play with my new toy. I built an artillery train. Um, each one of these cars holds 100 shells. We have this area that I marked off over here, and uh, I don't know, it just looks prime for it. We can go and duck behind one of these, uh, these uh, structures right here and just launch some, uh, launch some shells and move on. Uh, I, I still think the artillery train is kind of not intended for this type of map where uh, the biters don't expand. But uh, we got one, and uh, we had extra shells. We're going to use it. Um, we only have infinite research left. We are done with science until we start launching some rockets. And we already have a rocket in the... Uh, we already, we've launched two, so we have, what, 1,500 science? So we could do uh, oh, artillery shell range, A. Eh? Boy, that's expensive, though. Um, artillery shell shooting speed. Bullet damage. Laser damage. Laser damage might be nice. Mining productivity, I think, is going to be the best, though. We're going to have to set up a system to allow for the space science to make it to the labs. So that, that science isn't going to really do anything right now. But uh, we will get to that. 
Right. Boy, I love this nuclear fuel. It is so powerful. Hey, I'm not sure why they're complaining about um, we should have we should have robo ports down there to grab that uh, belt, but um, hmm. All right, let's uh, get into range. Stop! 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 Eh, that'll be good. We can always duck behind the walls. All right, we don't have anything in automatic range, which is kind of what I was expecting. Let's uh, grab the manual mode and, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, let's, let's blow some stuff up. Blow you up. And we can blow you up. I could have got those with one. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, let's see. All right, and that probably made a lot of them mad. Oh, we missed some. Looks like they are coming, so we probably better just reverse a bit. Get behind our lasers here. And uh, let's see, I may want to hop out here. And I want to make sure... Oh, what happened there? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. And put the lasers in and robo boards so that we have some cover hey what's going on up here they're just kind of hanging out does that get their attention not really huh I wonder if it's because I moved probably um, well, let's, uh, let's just continue then, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Very nice. These are all kind of spread out here, probably due to the way that I actually shot them. Probably could have done this a bit better. Oh, that's out of range. All right, what is up with this little grouping right here? We shoot it. Oh wow, there's just this long line coming in. That is funny. bits and pieces to clean up. But it looks like all this has uh, been fine. Ah, uh, looks like they've kind of reached us. Um, I just, I haven't been paying attention. But it um, looks like we'll be fine. I mean, it looks like we got most of the stuff cleared out. And the line continues. They just keep coming. Oh, they're starting to make it to me. Ah, and uh, is this the last part? Is this the caboose? The caboose of the train coming in? Looks like it.
Oh, nope. Still got a whole other line here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So yeah, this is exciting. Um, a lot of fun here. Um, these guys just kind of decided that they didn't want to play anymore. These guys didn't come in. They're, they're kind of losing interest, it looks like. I wonder if I can... I bet I can't. I was wondering if I could... Uh, ram through them. I forget these behemoths. You really can't. They are tough. Might be able to get through the spitters. Yeah, we can just plow right through the spitters. Does that leave us open? Yes. We still got some guys up there, but I think our turrets are going to be enough to take care of those. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's head on down, like, to here and see if we can't, uh, can't shoot off some more here. Let's see. Let's grab our manual targeter. Do we have... I wonder if we can hit those two with that shot right there. these okay yeah they're I don't know why they're still showing up red there I didn't see anybody hanging out or anything These are worms that are showing up as rather large on the radar. Okay. Um, let's see. We got some we can take down here. Might as well shoot at them. One. We've got a uh, a lot of bullets and uh, a lot of turrets to hide behind. Get all three of those with one, maybe. Is it easier than using nukes? Yes. It's definitely easier. All right. Looks like we can go down, like, maybe three. Yeah, I'm just going to let those guys run into those turrets up there. I think it'll be fine. Two. And three. Boy, you got to stop so early. All that breaking speed research really doesn't help very much. All right, does that give us all? It gives us all of these guys. Um, let's just go crazy. You, 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 and you. You, you, you. There, 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 there. Got one way over here, too. Yeah, there's got to be, like, a optimal firing pattern that you do to hit all of them. It's really hard to kind of see... Oh. What it is you're shooting at. I guess I could zoom in. That, that helps a bit. get a little bit more accurate of what it is that you're actually shooting at. Is it a worm? Is it a is it a house? Bubble?
No artillery in range. Okay, so that's just like right on the edge. But we can get those two. Alright, and that pretty much clears all of that area. We just got this one base down there. And, um, uh, do I want to head to it? I think it'll be fine. Let's go. Just need to go to the one on the end. I don't know if they'll, like, uh, they'll head up to where the bullets were coming from, or if they will actually latch onto my train and try to come down here. Either way, I think we're covered. Right. Let's see. We got one right here. And just a big slew of them right here. I'm trying to zoom in a bit to see if we can't. Yeah, I like this targeting a lot better. Gives us a very good idea about what we're hitting. Guys up there. You right there. You two? That that'll do it. Nice. Okay, one more left. All right. Well, there is the artillery train. And um, I think we even got some shots left, don't we? Yeah, we got, we got nine. We got nine shots left. We could have shot some more. All right. I'm going to go ahead and tell you to go home. And um, let's see. Is there anything we need to do down here? I don't, I don't think so. I think... I think this is all set for now. We need to drop some robots, but we don't have any robots. Um, I think I'm going to jump off at the smelter, maybe. And uh, from there, we can continue working on that because that one's really close to being... I'm not going to call it done, but I'm going to call it in a stable point. So we're trying to make modules. We need iron, we need copper, and we need... Uh, refining stuff. We need oil stuff. We need plastic. We need sulfuric acid. These are all the things we need. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home and manually grab the building train. I was gonna hop out and uh, just, just call the building train, but I think I actually need to go get some landfill because we need to fill in these lakes down here. Yeah, and uh, once we get all that smelting set up, uh, we just need to work on a little bit of refining, and then we can set up our module base, and then we can really start making stuff. And we will have our artillery train here on the side, ready to go when we need it. I have a feeling it's going to stay parked more than it is going to actually do stuff, but uh, yeah. No. All right, let's uh, go and grab some landfill. We should have a lot. I forget how much I made. Was it half a box? Was it a full box? I don't remember. It was a little bit more than half a box. Okay. Um, do I grab it all? I think I grab it all. I think I need to grab it all. Because you never know how much landfill you actually need. Actually, I'm going to put it back and grab half. I think that's... We'll grab half, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put an extra level there because you always need more landfill than you think you do. Like, I've got this much, and I think it's plenty. It's not going to be enough. I have a feeling. We'll see, though. We will see. Okay, we've got we've got rail. We've got um, rail, signals, things like that. I think that's all we need to get this situated. All right, I'm going to go into manual mode. And let's go. Actually, I don't need to go into manual mode. I've got a station. Just set it. Set it and let the nuclear fuel do its magic. How is the fuel situation in this train? Okay, we're a little over halfway on that one cell that we added. This stuff is really good. Getting attacked, you guys. Okay, that's understandable. All right, so we have we have this situated. 
We have this going up. We have you guys both going out. And the out for you guys will go up this way. How far will it go? I don't know. Um, it needs to definitely continue to go this way, however, for a ways. And let's see, is that going to be enough? Let's, uh, let's see. Let's bring it down like that. And let's bring out our station blueprint like this. We're going to need to fit one more row in here because we're going to have to have a row for steel. And oh my gosh, look at that. That is plenty. Plenty of room. We could actually come in much closer. Is that it right there? Yeah. So like right where that rock is, that's probably where I want to come down. We'll come on the other side of this rock. There we go. And let's go ahead and get rid of you. Ah. Uh, always get the wrong one on those corner pieces. Um, let's see, take you out. Oh, I'm out of an axe. I need to get a steel axe. There we go. Pick all you guys up. And this will continue to go down. So let's uh let's get the other side and then we will get these two tied in together okay so we don't have that one figured out yet oh we got stuff up there why are you being built are you okay you're outside the robot right do we have a robot port we do about just putting one right here just to get that stuff built since that's what these robo ports are for anyway they don't have to be continuous they just have to provide the coverage all right so the ore is coming in this way you guys are going to be coming in the other way So we will bring you down. We'll have to cross, and then as soon as we cross, we turn, and this will be our outline. Now we're gonna have to redo all this, of course, back when it's time to, when it's time to actually uh, expand this. Oh, and it's a good thing we brought the landfill. Clear all that. We'll go ahead and make sure that we have enough to actually fill it. And then we'll use the rest of it to just get rid of it. I don't think we have any need for any water down here. No need for water. Um, this is going to be smelting only. And, uh... Yeah, see, uh, 338 left, so that was close. We we did actually have enough, but um, it was very close. I guess I could use the rail planner. It it I don't like to use it because it does that whole squirrely thing sometimes. It's weird. I don't, I don't care for that too much. I don't like it. Yeah, I like this. Stop, stop that. What are you doing? Go through it. That's, that's, what, that's what your job is. Let's go through. All right, there is that taken care of. And what we need is to get a station in, right? Um, okay, let's clear out you. You. I don't know how far these need to go. I guess we should probably do it down to here. And uh, let's see. The poles should line up with the blueprint in theory. It's just the signals that we're concerned about. All right. Let's grab the book. And we are looking for this right here. Um, let's see. Our in 
is going to be down. Is that right? And our out is going up. That's correct. Go ahead and place that. And are we out of rail? We're out of rail. Well, that's lame. That is really lame. Well, um, we're coming up on time, so rather than just watch me run all the way down here and then all the way back, I think I'll go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll go ahead and hook up the rest of this so we'll have our ins and outs. And uh, yeah, I will see you when that is done. Have a good one.